Langston? You think? It's like your friend's finally awake. Who are you? Put this break on. Langston? Where am I? You're in a safe place. Just relax. Give me the spray. Please. Fortunately, you weren't taken in by the tappers. Who are you? I'm Sergeant Nicole Rosa Parkway. But you can call me Rosie. But what I want to know is, how are you still alive? That's the same thing Langston said. What are you talking about? Your name is Warren Niels, right? Yeah. You were found dead in a burning car. Your case was never solved. I do remember sleeping, sleeping in some car and I uh, hit this loud bang. And and I wake up in some kind of strange room. What room? Where? Near a park on uh, McCurson Street. Can you take me there? Why? There may be some information there about the woke band. Woke band? Woke? What is this woke band? It was an executive order signed by the president to protect America against woke extremists after two police officers were killed by a group of Black Lives Matter members on Facebook Live. I believe it was a setup to initiate the woke ban. Because those black people were tappers. Why do you call them tappers? Because they tap dance for the white man. Former civil rights activists turn anti woke enforcer. They capture and vet people like us. And once captured, you don't come back the same. The public doesn't know about this yet, which is why we need to expose them for what they really are. This, this is a lot to take in. Oh, you don't know the hell on earth we've been living in. So let me tell you how you can avoid becoming just another tap dancing coon. How? You find some woke minded people and you stick together. We need people like you. The more the better. If you help me figure out why I'm dead then, I can help you. Deal. Who are these two? This is my sister, Rye Angela. She was a senior leader for Black Lives Matter before they were disbanded. The woke band turned most of the BLM activists into coons. The ones that were with us are now tappers. I was one of the lucky few that got away before they vetted us. And you know Langston Moore already. He carried your limp body in here. Mm -hmm. And this is my good friend, Sean McQueen. Are white people affected by this too? Like, I'm not white. <laughs> I'm actually black. That's not how the tappers see it. They treat pasty people like you really good. Look, that doesn't mean that I'm white. It just means that they're judging me based upon the pigment of my skin, not me. Exactly. If your skin is white, then you're white. <laughs> Whatever. Look, I'm tired of arguing with you. Just accept your white privilege. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Understand why you that. think it's... We got a lot of work to do. Langston, you have any new information from your informant? Yeah, but he wants to meet in person. He texted me the address, so we just gotta go downtown to see him. Okay, that's good. And Ryan and Sean will go with you to meet him. Cool. Oh, shit. What is it, Ryan? <sighs> oh my god. Not him too. What is it, Rosie? 